So in CSGO, there was actually one thing that's been removed, which was actually an exploit of sorts, but I'm not sure how many people know about it, how to replicate it. They've all seen it happen in their games, but they probably won't have realised why it's happened. They probably just consider it to be a, a smoke bug. I personally refer it to being similar to what ambient occlusion used to look like in CSS, because that was an exploit where you could turn ambient occlusion on, uh, on your actual graphics card, and it would allow for, you know, let's, let's say there was smoke down. There'd be like slight silhouettes showing up behind the smoke and in the smoke, and you could just shoot straight through it. And this was a common th issue with online caps, for example, anti-cheats that didn't screenshot uh, the game that's being played. So like, that was an old way that anti-cheats used to work in the old version of CS. For example, X-Ray anti-cheat, um, Equitas. ESOI used to do a similar thing, but ESOI then turned into not having screenshots as well. And it meant that you know, you'd see a screenshot of their game, so coincidentally you might see there's a smoke on their screen and you'd see a massive silhouette. I remember this was, a lot of players were guilty of doing this in CSS and previous versions as well. So in Go though, ambient occlusion didn't behave the same way. Like, it wasn't actually a common issue like it was in CSS. So in Go we have the problem where, let's say, okay, I'll, I'll place the bot first. Play, bot place, bang. So you'd smoke somewhere, so this is just an example of location, doesn't really matter here. But you put the smoke down, I threw that at about, what, 58, 32 or something like that, 58, 30. And if you re-smoked on the same place roughly, before the other smoke's finished, you re-bloom, you'd then get a form of ambient occlusion pop-up where some silhouettes would come through. So for example, you saw the smoke grenade appearing through just then. Depending on where the player is, so obviously I've put that smoke not deep enough, so if I redo it again, but closer to the actual player, if you get close to the smoke or you are, you know, near it, you start to get silhouettes popping up. So you can see that popped up just then. Sometimes this gets even thicker, and obviously you can see more players. It really depends on, you know, where you are, what kind of lighting as well affects the smokes too. And it just allowed for a very interesting exploit, right? It was just a peculiar one. I don't know if people flagged it. I only noticed it towards the last year or two of Go anyway. But it meant, you know, if you re if somebody re-smoked something, let's say it's a Mirage Ramp, for example, you'd do the lineup at the box, triple, you'd throw it. And then if you did it again, some people might have been in the smoke waiting, and you'd see their full silhouettes just stood there. And you would then be able to just mow them down. They'd be confused, thinking they just got spammed randomly. But in reality, there was a massive silhouette popping up, and it meant that they just died for free. So just to show that again, just to allow that. Second smoke goes down, getting closer to it. You see this slight, on this fade. Yeah, there we go. That's the perfect example of it. That's a perfect silhouette. You can see everything. Like, it, ridiculous, though. Like, the amount that it showed up. And this probably is why a lot of people felt in online CS, they were getting screwed over. So let's have a look at it in CS2 as well. So obviously in CS2, with the smokes that, you know, built the way they are, it means they behave differently, right? We've got the volumetric smokes, they fill a location. If I threw the smoke, you know, towards this curb here, it'd probably blossom up a bit more that way than expected. And sometimes it'll overlap, sometimes it'll fill it perfectly. For example, in Longhouse, if you had a smoke, it's going to behave slightly differently and fill a lot of it instead of just doing the regular sphere that we used to in Go. So, that problem we had before, which was that, you know, if we'd put a smoke down, we'd have to wait 10 seconds and then we would put the smoke down again and it would then give you a one way or allow you to see them completely through. I wouldn't call it a one way, I think it's a glitch, it's an exploit, not the same whatsoever. So smoke's obviously lasting slightly longer as well, means we have to wait a bit longer so we put it down again. And then this time, you know, the other smoke fading, you can't even tell where it was really, there's no ambient occlusion of sorts, there's nothing. Like, this is completely different to what we had in Go, which means a form of playing which was being abused incredibly is now gone. And that is, you know, obviously it's, it's ideal. We don't want exploits in the game. But also this is something that, you know, if, as a player, you if you didn't know, you shouldn't stand. Like, it was quite, quite common. You'd play on the smoke fade. But then if they put a second smoke down, you wouldn't know that you'd just be visible through it and the person could just shoot you straight in the face and you would have no idea. And they would see you. you just had no idea so a really small change in the sense of yeah the niche of it but game changing in the sense of there's now you know that exploit is gone obviously more exploits will appear things like that people will find more stuff i'm always kind of on the lookout with these sort of things like if i put a smoke down the same place if i molotov 
and then smoke after the Molotovs. Been like, yeah, it's just different things to see how does the game behave, right? And yeah, I'm just gonna keep looking out for these sort of things, and hopefully, we can find these exploits and hopefully get rid of them. I suppose is the main thing too. So thanks for watching, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel.